this video, we will have a look at how to use a display state in an assembly. When you are working with a large assembly with many different parts and assemblies, it can often get crowded really quick. Especially when you are working with a larger team together on a project. To make things easier, you can make use of display states to only show the items you are working on or the, only the items that you need to see. In the assembly modeling training, we do a deep dive into all the different options when working with configurations in an assembly together with display states. In this video, I will show you how to create a generic or very basic display state in your assembly. You can expand the display state manager in the configuration manager and from here create different display states by using the right click option. These can all be linked to a configuration, but you can also unlink them to have more options in your main assembly. The display state allows you to control components displays in an assembly. So its appearance, the visibility, transparency, And having multiple options available will make it easier to gain access to specific parts of your design for review. You can also use this to play around with different ideas for configuring your design. I have now created a few display states. One for the wooden door, one for not having any door visible, only the handles and the locking mechanism and one where you can't see the handles but you can actually see through to where all the components are in the lock mechanism. It is really quick to generate these display states as you've seen. So if you are interested in learning more about the different assembly options like this one, join one of our assembly modeling trainings. Thank you for joining this video.